Hello and welcome to Marketing91.com. Let's start with an overview of the ad industry in India. E-commerce and technology startups are advertising heavily across various media in India to build their brands and this trend is expected to continue. Between 2013 and 2018, India is projected to be the second fastest growing advertising market in Asia behind only China. India's advertising industry is expected to grow year on year by 16.8%, Rs 51,365 crore, USD 7.54 billion by 2016 of the total ad spend. Print forms the largest share with 41% market, followed by TV at 38%, digital at 11% and others with the remaining 10% share. In terms of sector-wise breakup in 2016, FMCG leads as the sector with the highest advertising spends of 28%, followed by the auto industry with 8.2%, e-commerce with 8.1% and retail with 7.6% of all advertisements. Other industries such as telecom, BFSI, services, education, consumer durables and real estate hold individual shares in the 3% to 6% of the overall advertising pie. Now let's look at some of the trends in the advertising media. The first trend is convergence of media. Advertising convergence refers to the growing trend of using computer technology to deliver media programming and information. The convergence of television and internet gives marketers the opportunity to target customers in ways that are not possible with traditional television advertising. For example, Flipkart advertises on both television and internet platforms such as Facebook. Next trend is interactivity. Interactivity means that an audience can exchange messages in a two-way medium. This is a significant change because until recently, advertising was a one-way communication that was viewed, listened to or read by the audience. Now, the audience can respond, ask questions or even place orders for products and services. For example, Coke Zero launched an initiative called Drinkable Advertising in which they have created a fun way to give free promotional products to unsuspecting consumers. Consumers could take a picture of drinkable billboards and posters or use Shazam to detect the drinkable sound on the TV to get a free Coke Zero. Audience Tracking Technology has enabled audience tracking. Remarketing is a popular technique used to connect with website visitors who may not have made any immediate purchase or inquiry. It allows targeted ads to be positioned in front of a defined audience that has previously visited any website. For example, e-commerce companies like Flipkart use this method regularly. Engagement Engagement involves connectedness or a closer relationship with the audience. Good brand engagement refers to when the audience is sharing and discussing content both online and offline. For example, Ola advertises a referral scheme in which a person gets credit for referring Ola to their friends. This approach has helped Ola expand its business. Trend toward global joint ventures With globalization, Indian ad agencies are increasingly tying up with global agencies. Trends in internet advertising, which includes banner ads and advertising through Facebook, Twitter and YouTube. For example, both Pepsi and Coca-Cola have established a presence on the internet through YouTube's ad and pages on social media platforms such as Facebook and Instagram. The last trend is below the line or BTL promotions. BTL is a one-to-one -one approach that involves the distribution of pamphlets, handbills, stickers, promotions and brochures at the point of sale. For example, Vodafone Eyewalker Activity at IITF New Delhi. They are an interactive medium for brand promotion which involves guiding customers and taking feedback. Moving on, the last module in this video is on challenges faced by advertisers in India. The first challenge is multiple media options. Because multiple media are now available, Advertisers incur higher costs to reach the target audience. For example, the cost of a 10 seconds commercial spot was Rs 25 lakhs during the India vs Australia World Cup semi-final in 2015. 
ESPN Star Sports hiked its advertising rates to 17 to 18 lakhs for a 10-second spot during the India-Pakistan semi-final in 2011. On the radio, the advertising rate for a 10-second spot is Rs 500 to 1,000. The next challenge is the ad budget. A firm's capacity to spend on an ad greatly affects the medium selected. If the budget runs into billions of rupees, a firm can consider a 360-degree campaign with TV, print, radio, outdoor advertising spaces and the internet. However, if the budget is limited, the advertiser can only use certain media. Challenges for TV media There are roughly 900 TV channels including regional channels and this large number is expected to increase. Therefore, advertisers are finding it difficult to get viewers' attention. Challenges for radio advertising The number of radio listeners is declining, especially in urban areas. This decline is aided by the fact that radio advertising is non-actionable in nature. Specifically, an advertiser does know the impact a radio ad will have on a consumer. Challenges for digital advertising Internet users are typically irritated by ads on websites. Internet ads also suffer from the problem of lack of viewer attention. According to Google, more than 56% of ad impressions served across its network are never seen by users. Challenges for ad agencies Ad agencies face many challenges because of client turnover and heavy competition. Many clients leave an ad agency because of problems such as unsuccessful ad campaigns, disputes and dissatisfaction with the service. Challenges for print media The number of newspapers and magazines is increasing, leading to a lack of reader attention. As of 31st March 2015, a total of 1,5443 newspapers or periodicals are registered with the Registrar of Newspapers for India, RNI. Lastly, Challenges of outdoor advertising. Outdoor advertisements such as ads at railway stations are facing difficult challenges because people in urban areas do not really look at outdoor hoardings. Stay tuned for more videos on marketing. Thank you.